And that is a tremendous pop. It really is. Has he got an angle here to get down this left-hand side for the final red? Well, it looks fairly straight. I don't know. Can he screw around it off the two cushions? <coughs> There's nothing much safe, is there? Well, he's going to have to come off the side and top cushions here for this final red. I mean, well, he doesn't have to. He can drop it in there and leave the pot. Depends how close he wants to be. about that I mean it, it was the touch of reverse side he had on the cue ball if he doesn't get the side on he might have been behind the yellow but what a shot that was well we saw a quite brilliant pot earlier in the piece from blue to pink to take a 3-1 lead and that was sublime yeah well he can take anything here for this final red 11 when he'd hit it, Phil, I thought he'd under hit it, actually. But that, that side was still on the white, wasn't it? Just it fizzed off the yeah. cushion, didn't it? Yeah, it was, a, it was a billy fizz. No, a billy whiz. That's what Joe says, isn't it? Was that a billy whiz with a bit of fizz? Oh, the crowd was swooning over that one. Is it going to prove to be a frame winner and a 5-2 lead? Three up with four to play. Higgins hoping for an error. 20. Can't see it coming, though. Well, this will hurt the Scot. 23. Needs them all. 27. Well, that's not perfect. By any means, it's quite a thin cut. Has to control the cue ball for position. Yeah. Thirty-two. Keep going, keep going. Well, it's a little bit under strength. It's one of those, Phil, isn't it? Yeah, this is nasty. Yeah. Will he just drop this Two in or go around the table? Well, again, it's not just the pot, is it? It's position required on the black. I think he's got to go around the table here. He's got more control with the white. He's got the pink. Where's the white going to finish? It looks good for the middle of pocket, but hang on. Where's the white? And then it's in the middle of nowhere. Now then, this red... Oh, sorry, the black, I should say. I'm going to carry away here. The black to the middle, I think, for 5-2. A seismic frame. Big moment in this match. It's high, and luckily for O'Sullivan, it was high enough that it hit the jaw and has landed safe. If he got a bit closer, he'd have left it for Higgins. Yeah, it was that bad. It was good. Like my golf shots. Well, it was the positional shot from brown to blue that ultimately scuppered O'Sullivan there. So what a frame this has now become. The difference between 5-2 and 4-3, and that's a good one from Higgins. Well, he's, he's played one here. What a, yeah, absolutely. What a safety shot that is from John. What can you say? Tremendous. I'll tell you what, over the years, I've not seen Ronnie O'Sullivan in a lot of these black ball fights because he normally dishes up, doesn't he? Do you know what I mean? Fascinating, though. Well, this is all about pace, and it looks pretty good to me. Well played, Syed. Higgins has been hanging on today. He could somehow win this frame. He's only one behind. It's still very much game on. Wow, look at this. Excellent. I 
I'll tell you what, if that had been a fraction thinner, he would have left that. I don't think Ronnie will take it on. They'll take the, they'll send the black around the table. Excellent. <laughs> this, is, this is great stuff. It's been a bit of a slow burner, this match, but it's really beginning to boil up now. Particularly if Higgins can take this frame that could have gone either way already. Tremendous safety so far on this decisive black. Who's going to crack first? Now then, will he play the part here? Or around the table once more? There's your answer. Just to touch pacey, is John tempted with the pot here? The white would be flying around the table. <laughs> Shades of 85. He's gone for it again, just as he did against Williams. He's got it again. Extraordinary end to a dramatic frame. And Ronnie O'Sullivan has come up with a bit of magic 